Hello guys, welcome back to another LS PDFR tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the error of your GDF5 not loading, your Rage plugin hook not loading, or the error that shows, you know, the annoying Rage plugin hook error that shows, or the game compatibility issue, or the script hook 5 issue. I'm going to fix those all today really, really quickly without wasting any of your time. And I'm going to show you how to identify what's the issue so the next time you won't need to go to YouTube to find all of that out. So first of all, really, really quickly, you want to go to your GD5 main directory and you should keep it on a shortcut or you should pin it like I've done. So this is my GDFI main directory right here. I have everything here. So you want to scroll down and you're going to see this file of GDFI.exe. You want to click it once, right click it, go to properties, go to details. You want to see the version which is uh, 1.0.2845. So this shows the current game version of your game. So now everything that means um, your Rage plugin hook, script hook 5, and your LSPDFR should be updated to this game version in order to work. If it is not, then your game is probably going to start crashing. First order of business and the most important order of business is getting your LSPDFR. So this is the primary website for downloading LSPDFR. Uh, it's called lcpdfr.com. Don't worry, I got you in the uh, description box below. Just go click on the link. It's going to lead you right here. So now, as we said, our game version over here, as we just saw, is 2.8.4.5, as we saw here, and exactly 2.8.4.5. So it's going to tell you that it's added support for 2.8.4.5, and it's done really recently. So just on March 1st, they added a uh, 2.8.4.5 uh, Rage plugin hook. So when you get this, you want to click download the file. It's going to start downloading. You want to get the first one agree agree whatever whatever and click on the first one to set up not the manual to set up as soon as you do that sorry for that guys as soon as you do that it's gonna and get it somewhere you know how to reach so i for example put it on my desktop just like so this is this is the one if you have older versions of these you can feel free to delete them whenever you want but we're gonna click open on this one it's gonna say please wait while setup is loading unpacking data and just keep clicking OK like we do. That's, this is a normal uh, startup install wizard. So it's just an installer. You're going to click finish. It's going to open up a little screen just like this. You're going to show, so, show license. It's going to show you the license. Just click on agree. Except uh, you can go ahead and read all the description box. This is going to ask you to change settings. We recommend disabling the version text rendering and setting all the plugins to load startup. You're going to do it for me makes it easier and now it's going to give you a quick message that lspdfr has been installed successfully now i don't like deleting the latest version of lspdfr just in case something goes wrong at setup but i'm going to put everything else in place and i'm going to show you the second order of business which is going to be updating script hook 5. oh right there so you're going to go to this subs website it's called ab software development or developer something like that. I'm going to leave it in the comment. I mean, the description box below. Don't worry about that. Just type it AB software dev. As soon as you do that, it's going to be the first option, the AB software solution. Maybe their servers are down right now. Oh, no, not this one. My bad. Bruh. <laughs> Just type GDA5. Yeah, it's this one, this one. AB software development, and it's going to be this one. Okay, so their servers are down really, really simply. We do have another video on this. Their, their servers are down right now at the moment, so maybe this is going to start after another half an hour, but it's really, really simple. You just go and click on GDF5, and it's going to give you a pack to download, and you just download, and there are going to be three items inside that, and you just drag and drop them to your GDF5 main directory, just on the main page. But um, in case you don't know how to do that, I'll link another video showing you specifically how to do that in the comment section. I mean, the description box below. Last order of business is to update your, um, this thing, your Rage native UI. So many people face an issue when they go like on the job, when they put like on the job and all that. And when they go on duty, 
their thing fails. Like the, the plugins load for a second and then you say it says LSPDFR has crashed. It's because of this. That your thingy is not up to date. What you wanna do is you wanna click this. Uh, this is the link, by the way. It's a GitHub link. You can just type Rage Native UI and then it's gonna take you to GitHub link. You're gonna press the first one, the Rage Native UI.zip. Press on desktop, you're gonna go to save, save. And it's gonna open this, all of these files, all of these files you're gonna take, you can choose not to take the license and the notice file, but I just, you know, just, just for my, it's a, it's a two and a four, it's a six KB, KB file. Just take it for your own piece. And when I take that, and you wanna drag and drop that to your GDFI main directory over here, not on top of the any file, just, just here. It's going to ask you to replace, you can replace it, and then you can feel free to delete that file as well. As soon as that is done, your GDF5 should load up as normal, and your GDF5 is an LSPDFR and Rage Native UI and Rage Plugin Hook are all now up to date. Of course, the Rage Native UI update is non mandatory, but if you are facing any issues, you should do this. This is like an extra. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. If I helped you please please do leave a like if not subscribe I do keep coming up with all the latest videos on getting um, GD5 up to date and facing all the issues because again it's a game they keep coming up with new issues so it's just better if you have subscribed and you have the bell icon on so as soon as there's an error with the game or people are facing an error you know I'm there <laughs> I'm your first responder um, so yeah I'm just there to help you out if not totally understand just help out the channel any way you can in any way you can but no problem if you can't and i'll see you the next time thank you so much you have a good day